The question is continued by another colleague. The question in regards to the creation of a soul, in regards to one's own God. Oksana asks, is there in real life a resemblance of the actions, events, perceptions and character qualities between a person and his God, meaning all the aspects of this God's representation, although their fates are not easy at times. What to do if it is your God that his fate is full of sorrow? This is also a flip side of your consciousness, of becoming conscious of your God. This is what our ancestors stumbled upon a long time ago, during pagan times. And neo-paganism suffers from this disease just as much. Long time ago, during the pre-Christian period, there were patron gods. There were gods who protected warriors and noblemen, there were those who protected merchants and the ones who protected laborers. The gods didn't protect a person, but rather a labor that this person was performing. And the latter, of course, applied that meaning towards himself. And now everything is turned upside down. If Freya is your god, they say that you belong to laborers, which means a reverse consequence, a reverse sign of equality is placed between these concepts. If Odin or Jupiter is your god, then you definitely belong to a powerful or noble class. If Mercury is your god protector or Hermes, Loki, then the most likely you belong to a merchant caste. This is a huge mistake. Once again, the binary system plays a major role here. If this, then that. If this, then that. The same is applied to the gods. You found your god. Everything resonated between you, the name, the resemblance of characters and even some aspects of your fate, some other crucial moments as it is described in the myth about this god. The same with your fate. One can precisely point out certain crucial moments of transition from one level to another, from one reality into the other. But how horrifying it may appear to a person, how dangerous, unpleasant or maybe even shameful in some moments when you know that your God had lost or your God possesses such an algorithm that, for example, is not accepted by society. And if you accept this algorithm, it will lead you towards inevitable failure and misfortune. How big is the possibility of you refusing or decreasing the contact with your personal, with your own self, only in a different mythological reincarnation. The gods manifest themselves in different pantheons in completely various ways. We all know, while studying in depth the mythology of different countries and nations, that in one pantheon the same God can manifest himself in one way, in another one, another way. Somewhere he wins, somewhere he loses, somewhere he is the main God, and somewhere else he is among the extras. Somewhere he is all great and a hero, and somewhere he is a vile trickster that is hated literally by everyone. And this still is the same God. He is simply playing a role, just like one character, one player takes on different figures and manifests himself through these characters in various ways. Same does the God, when he is being reincarnated into human fate, he may manifest himself in completely different ways. And it doesn't just depend on the algorithm that he carries, but also on the consciousness in possession of a free will that implements such algorithm. You have the right and opportunity to implement it in any way you want. You are not just a cartoon character on a screen, a character in a game that is being led and that has no will of his own, nor mind, or own capabilities to act according to circumstances. Your God is the logic of meaning. Your life is the logic of circumstances.
And the result depends on the way you connect them among each other. And the outcome will be an exact indication of how, in a particular design scenario, the force of your God, his algorithms, his consciousness manifested itself successfully or not. The same algorithm applied to various circumstances will provide different results. Then, if you can change the algorithm and you understand that this is above you, this is your essence, your soul, you can't behave in any other way, you can't be vile or, for example, you can't be sneaky, you can't but sacrifice everything or an opposite will sacrifice nothing at all, Applied to various circumstances, this algorithm will give a completely different outcome. You are in charge of the circumstances. Choose the right ones. If this is how it is, if you can't change the algorithm, then you are free to choose the circumstances. Choose them, and then you'll receive a totally different outcome. But if you don't choose the circumstances and don't possess the algorithm, then you are but an empty character and there is nothing to talk about. But a person who embraced his own God is no longer an empty character because he already started to comprehend the meaning and understand his capabilities of implementing this very meaning. Whereas when he doesn't understand either of it, then he is merely a cartoon character, a bot, as we would call him today, simply a bot. But I'll repeat, by the condition of embracing one's own God, such a thing becomes impossible. Even if you would want to, you won't be able to, unless you receive an extensive lobotomy or do something in order to forget. Only then, but not in any other way. Try to reconsider your attitude towards the myth and understand that this myth is described in a certain way only due to the circumstances that existed at that time. Act the same way in these new circumstances and you'll probably receive a different outcome. Simply find the right point in space and time when you're able to manifest your essence and finally come out victorious.